Hey, hi, and hello, my Earthlings, and welcome back to Earthshine TV. I like the sound of that, don't you? If you're new here, this is where together we inspire ourselves to be our best selves and in turn, better humans. If you're new here, you should definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you don't miss this or any other videos. So we all have those days where you feel like the world is against you, right? You wake up late for school, the alarm goes off late, you go to wake up your kids and they barely get out of bed, rush breakfast and you spill your coffee all over the place. You're on an epic quest to find lost shoes and homework folders only to dive into the car rush into the tuck and roll, I mean kiss and ride, just so you can barely make it there to see the school door close on your kids' faces. You're late. I'm not happy about it, but this is a all too familiar scenario in my household. With a family of four beautiful girls, not everybody's on the same speed in the morning and it can be really stressful and it can cause high tension. I specifically remember one time we had finally gotten to school, the door had closed, we were late, and my dog jumped out of the back window only to run around the yard and my kids chasing after him to get him back into the car. Now during these high tension episodes, it is damn sure not easy to keep from losing your shit. But being a parent, we're always held responsible to keep it together for the kids, showing them a better a better way to react to a high tension situation. I was doing my daily yoga practice one day with Yoga with Adrienne, and she constantly brings up the idea and the word sukha. I even love just the sound of that, sukha. And sukha is usually defined as finding a sense of ease and comfort, especially in what is uncomfortable. And I couldn't help but think that if we are able to consistent, consistently apply the practice of sukha in our daily lives, we have some really big rewards coming our way. We are looking at a heightened sense of awareness, of presence, and strength when we are challenged. In life, I'm finding out through kind of everything, there always needs to be this balance of maintaining and achieving. The word thriya in Sanskrit translates to stability and it complements sukha, which means comfort, finding comfort. You will always be faced with challenges that are uncomfortable, but it is up to us to find comfort within ourselves. Yogapedia's article on sukha, they have an awesome piece where they say balance is crucial. If there's too much striving, then your inner peace is difficult. Yet, if life is always easy, you become passive and your presence drifts. So how do we implement sukha? The, the biggest thing is to start forming a healthy relationship within yourself through a daily practice of meditation. I highly recommend seeking out practicing yoga. I do yoga with Adrian. And on Daily Burn, there's even a lovely yoga program on there. Or seek out any local yoga studios you have in the area. A lot of times they'll give you a little deal on your first session. But really, sukha can simply be found by doing things with purpose. When things start getting crazy, that is your cue to look within yourself and see where you can find the comfort in your daily struggles. So if I'm going back to my situation with my dog jumping out of my car early in the morning in the kiss and ride line, I was really upset because I didn't know if he was gonna get hit by a car, if he was gonna hurt somebody or hurt himself. And my kids had to get inside the school and they were chasing him around and I had the baby in the car. It's just a big mess. But when I was able to step back and actually take a look at it, it was pretty damn fun. I would love to see the person's face in the car behind me because they probably didn't know what was going on. And in that moment even, I started laughing because I'm like, what is even going on? This is crazy. Thankfully, I have a wonderful pup who jumped back in the car and he's sweet to everybody. And the best kind of example with sukha is when you're working out or doing a yoga practice, when you're holding a pose that is challenging, 
but you know that you're okay and you can find the comfort or the ease with that. You're supporting yourself. You're stronger than you imagined. You're doing something really challenging and difficult maybe that you haven't been able to do before until now. And you're setting up this really great pose and you look amazing, you look beautiful, and you're able to see the benefits of your yoga practice. And that is finding Suka. This is just an interesting little thought I had the other day. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hop on over to the blog earthshine.live and check me out on Instagram. I love sharing wonderful things. I love to inspire people. And if you want some more inspiration off the blog, come check me out at katie6 at Instagram. A new announcement. I think I am going to rename the channel Earthshine TV, but I also want to let you know that I have considered homeschooling my six-year-old. I think it's appropriate that I set up a vlog playlist dedicated to this new journey. So if you would like to see more of that, definitely subscribe and hit that notification button below because within the next few weeks here, I'm going to be starting off this video series. It's a big decision, but it'll kind of come out more a little bit why, why I decided to make this choice. So definitely hit the notification button below and that bell if you want to see a little bit more about our homeschooling journey. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I love having you here. The awesome in me bows to the awesome in you. Today is a beautiful day. It's a great day. It's your day. Go out and make it awesome. Be better humans. See you soon.